It's time for the Funky Kids Show with your host, Winston Chim, the Mr. Beast of the computer world. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the show, the Funky Kids Show live with your host, Winston. That's me. How's it going, guys? Yes, it's Friday the 16th of February. Wow, in February of the 2024 year. How's it going, guys? Welcome to the show, the Funky Kids Show live. We're live on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. I think we're good to go. Let me know if you have any audio or video issues, but I think we're looking good so far. We're just getting the streams up and running. All right, welcome to the show, the Funky Kid Show live on this lovely Friday, the 16th of February. All right, yep, we're just getting the live streams up and running. We're live on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. Let me know if you have any audio or video issues, and we'll see if we can get that fixed up. But we're looking good so far. All right. Okay, so, uh, yeah. First off, let's have a look at what we will be talking today. So uh, we have, of course, news and updates on our website, AMD3D, our sister site, and on our main site, uh, Funky Kit. And then we're going to take a look, a uh, quick unboxing of the ASRock B650 Steel Legend Wi-Fi motherboard. After that, we have the Rig Builder, our system configured, developed by my brother Yao. It's a fantastic tool for you guys to get some prices off Amazon. A great little tool for you guys to play around with. So we'll take a look at that. And after that, we've got Mods of the Week, taken from our Extreme PC Modern Group. Now it's called XPCM. Is it? <laughs> yes, Extreme PC Modern Group. And uh, it's a fantastic uh, uh, community of modders and things like that. It's a, and it's also a great place to get some modding ideas. Or if you have new mods that you want to post and uh, only PC builds that if you want to share, post it on the Extreme PC Modding Group. All right, we're going to take a break after that, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, well, Gigabyte collaboration, which uh, uh, was recently kind of uh, confirmed. So we'll talk a little bit about that, and then of course we'll uh, also talk about some of the new stuff that we'll be reviewing, and uh, probably look at some of the new components we'll be using for our. Uh, new year or as you say the first project build of 2024 so this will be our new project build and uh, we're looking to get the parts around about March next month and then we'll start building it uh, April time and it should be ready for me so uh, we've got a couple of months there so we'll talk about some of the components that we'll be using for our next PC project build yes our first build of 2024 uh, we usually do two one at the beginning of the year and then one towards the end of the year so this will be the first of the 2024 build by funky kit okay and now we got some new prize giveaway announcements and of course we'll do some live prize giveaway all right welcome to the show scumberg hey how's it going all right so um today uh as you know last couple of uh, streams our camera was playing up it was overheating right because it's just the nature of uh, the sony cameras i guess mine is a 6400 i'm guessing it uh, it is showing its age i've had it for about six seven years uh it's starting to overheat a little bit more than usual and um maybe because i'm doing a lot of streaming as well more than like an hour two hours so i'm guessing it's uh yeah it's showing its age it's time to uh, kind of upgrade i guess so uh with that um what i've done is i've opened the window so with a bit of uh, airflow <laughs> <laughs> in the room hopefully it shouldn't overheat today all right and that said i will i will probably get a new camera so we'll be looking to get a, a, a better camera uh i'm not sure what i'll be getting i'm thinking well you know there's no point getting a really expensive um DL, dlsr mirror or mirrorless camera because it's just too expensive right so you know um it's going to be a bit of a pain. So I'll probably just get a, a vlogging camera and then use that as for the stream because the vlogging camera will have better kind of uh, quality on the video. But um, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll find out. We'll see. Uh, but uh, for now, I'm just using the Alpha 6400, which I've had for about six, seven years, I think. Um, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Thank you for uh, following us, uh, Grizzly Panda Gaming. Hey, how's it going, Rattle Row? Welcome to the show, the Funky Kids Show Live. All right, so first up, uh, let's have a look at the news and updates on our website, Funky Kit. Now, um, I haven't done any reviews lately because I've been busy with a lot of um, trying to speak to all the 
vendors and manufacturers and stuff like that and also um training my little nephew to do some of the reviews uh he's got two uh, up and coming reviews um this company called uh anaconda right <laughs> yeah not anaconda anaconda right uh, I think they're a China brand, but uh, they're trying to, you know, make a foothold in the market. It's going to be tough because it's quite a saturated market already with uh, lots of memories and SSDs. So they specialize in that memory and SSDs. Uh, we've got a DDR5 7200 uh, memory with RGB from Anaconda and also one terabyte uh, PCI Gen 4 SSD. So he's got those already, my little nephew, and uh, hopefully he'll uh, uh, write up a review on that. And, um, you know, you have to bear in mind he is a new kind of into this reviewing kind of uh, uh scene so uh well, i'm gonna look through some of the reviews i've kind of like helped him out a little bit with uh training him up and stuff like that that's why i've been busy for the last couple of weeks um hopefully uh he'll you know he'll write a review in his own words have his own style and uh, see how it goes he's only uh 16 by the way so you know um you got to train him up when they're young you know <laughs> But he's got a he's got an interesting computers and stuff like that. So hopefully uh, he will uh, have plenty of fun with that. So that said, um, yeah, let's take a look at the uh, news and updates on our website. Funky Kit, let's bring up the website. Here we go. And as you know, we haven't done any uh, reviews this week. Uh, but watch out for some reviews from my little nephew uh, with the Anaconda uh, DDR5 RAM and also the uh, one terabyte SSD um bart a uh, guy in poland he'll be reviewing some stuff as well i think he's got some ram or ssds as well uh that should be hopefully next couple of weeks and uh, i will be getting some new items from height height y70 not the y70 touch of course the y70 touch is uh with the uh, lcd touch uh screen uh, LCD panel, but uh, we will be getting that. We just get standard uh, Y70 with the all glass panoramic view. Hopefully, we'll get that uh, in the next week or so. So, we'll be reviewing that and also um, some Gigabyte products because the collab that we're going to be working with uh, will have more Gigabyte products as well. So, we'll talk a little bit about that later on in the show. All right, for now. Uh, you can check out some of the reviews that we've done in the past week, including the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4080 Super Gaming OC 16 Gigabyte Graphics Card. It's a fantastic graphics card. Uh, I did lots of videos on this as well. Lots of video shorts. You can check it out. Uh, it is one of the fastest graphics cards we have tested in our labs. Um, all except, of course, the RTX 4090, which we don't have. Uh, we, have we haven't actually tested one, but, uh, you know, this card um around about it's eleven hundred dollars retail right msrp but with this one um and a lot of the um board partners including azus gigabyte msi will probably sell it with their overclocked gpus with bigger fans bigger heat sinks better cooling and stuff like that and you will probably get this graphics card for around about fifteen hundred dollars a little bit expensive but um but it is a good card. Um, I've ha I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, lots get really good performance as well. 4K gaming, no problem. It can handle that. And um, I, I like it. It's uh, it does take a lot of power, so you, you do need at least 850, 750, 850. Uh, I recommend a thousand watts. Um, and it has slightly faster memory, 23 gigabits per second, and a slightly overclocked GPU. Uh, more CUDA cores as well. So this is the GeForce RTX 4080 Super from Gigabyte and the Gaming OC Edition. And uh, you can check out the full review on our website as well as a video on our YouTube channel. All right. And with that said, uh, we have other reviews including the Essence Core Clev Crass 5 RGB DDR5 8000, um, 32 gig kit. These are from a, a Korean brand called Clev. Uh, you won't see them much on retail. You see them on uh, e um, Amazon and a few other places uh, popular in Asia. So uh, you can check it out. Uh, DDR5 8000. So really good high memory speeds. Um, so you need a, a motherboard that supports these higher memory speeds as well, such as the new refreshed Z790 boards from Intel. Then we also have the uh, Lexar Play 2230. It's the super small form factor 
that um, you'll find on uh, handheld PC, Steam Deck, ROG Ally, and some laptops that might use this form factor, the uh, the PCI Gen 4, uh, one terabyte. And this is the M.2 2230 form factor, very small, compact. And this is the ASRock B650 Steel Legend Wi-Fi motherboard. And uh, we'll do an unboxing on this one. So you will take a look at that. It's uh, an all white silver and white kind of design, uh, suitable for all the latest AMD Ryzen 7000 as well as 8000 CPUs as well. Um, hasn't got all the enthusiast features, but it does look good and it's perfect for any white theme PC builds. You can check out the full video on our YouTube channel and also we'll do a quick unboxing in this live show as well. So a B650 chipset is fine. Um, you don't need all the PCIe lanes if you don't run a lot of high-end stuff. Most people will have one PCIe Gen 4 SSD, one graphics card, right? Um, so that's all you need, <laughs> yeah. And so you don't need all of those PCIe lanes. But uh, this this is fine. Uh, retails probably around about 250-ish uh, dollars. So yeah, we'll take a look at this in a sec. All right. Uh, plenty of other reviews if you missed it, including uh, I did the Rodecaster Pro, a fantastic wireless uh, microphone set, which I've actually got. Here you can tell. Here, let me just show you. Fantastic uh, microphone set with the carry uh, pouch and it doubles as a charger as well. Um, great wireless connection and also good quality as well, audio quality. I love this. And I'll be using that for a lot of stuff going forward. And um, other reviews include, of course, the keyboard from Genesis, the uh, ASRock Radeon RX 1700 XT in the white edition. Lots of reviews on my website. Go and check it out. I've also included uh, quick access icons or like you can call it banners, but, you know, little sections here. So if you want to go straight to Rig Builder, you know, you can go to the menu. You can see that here or along PC Builder here that people might not be able to scroll through the menu. Um, but here you can see the logo right there. You just click on that. It'll take you to the, uh, um, here you go, the system configurator, which I will be showing you in a sec. All right. Also PC Modern Group, Extreme PC Modern Group, XPCM, and also prize giveaways. All the latest prize giveaways that we have right now on our website. And if you want to check out our podcast show with Stephen and I, uh, we have it right here as well. So quick access. If you want to check out all the uh, new stuff that we have on our website, it's right there. All right, so let's get back to the chat and see what's going on. Hey, Grizzly Archie, how's it going? Hey, Green, Tel Aviv, Aries25, I'm Rattle Row, welcome to the show. No problem, you have popped up just as I was awaiting parts for my first build, Evo 011 Evo RGB, very nice. I like that case. Um, it has the, it's a sta it's it's like the O11 Evo, uh, but now you have an RGB strip which runs across the bottom, and also I believe on the top as well, and um, looks really nice. X670 Steel Legend, yeah, there's a good board. Uh, Ryzen 9 7950X, ooh, fancy. Um, I wanted to get a 7900 or the 7950X, uh, a little bit over my price range, so instead I got the 7800. Uh, X3D. Okay, uh, you have a 4080 super built. No, very nice. Nice, nice setup there. Uh, you'll enjoy building that Grizzly Archie. Hey, welcome to the show, Lost Trooper. Okay, so next up, uh, our sister site, AMD 3D. It's mostly AMD related products, uh, Ryzen, Threadrippers, Radeons, um, of course, gaming news, esports news. Xboxes, PS5s, and things like that. So uh, let's see what's going on with some of the news happening uh, on AMD 3D. All right, I, we haven't updated that much on this site. Let's just take a look. Um, GOG and CD Projekt Red announced account migration. Okay, that was March 5th. Homeworld 3, Blackbird Interactive delays Homeworld 3. Pushes back till May 13th. Final Fantasy L7 Rebirth. I think I've seen some of these yeah, from last... There we go. We've got some here. Latest news. Let's have a look. Um, we'll click on the news. 
latest news. I think this will show up. Yep. Hello Games introduces No Man's Sky Omega Exp Expedition. Free trial this week, uh, weekend. Oh, okay. This weekend. Go and check it out. We have um, Thormachorg. Thormachorg. How, how, how do you pronounce that? Is that Thormachorg? Uh, launch date moved to the 4th of March. We have Enshrouded Debs working on the quest progression improvements. Interesting. Overwatch 2. Okay. It goes goes uh, team challenges or team changes ahead of season 9 launch. Oh, okay, got some new uh, changes there. Um, yeah, some not much here in terms of the news lately. Um, I will try and add some more AMD related uh, kind of uh, news and stuff like that uh, on, on the site as we go along. So, yeah, AMD 3D. That's pretty much it. All right, let's head over to the chat and see what's going on. Happy Friday. <laughs> All right. Okay, so news and updates done on our website. Please go and check it out. Um, lots of um, some re reviews and things like that. And also, uh, lots of news announcements. And uh, watch out for some uh, interesting um, products on the site as uh, it, as the weeks go by. And all right, next up we have um, our unboxing video. So let's do this. It's time for Funky Kit's unboxing video of the week. All right, so we're going to do an unboxing of the Azrock B650 Steel Legend Wi-Fi uh, motherboard. Um, it's not the high end. Uh, it's more of a kind of like mainstream gamer. Uh, but it comes in the all white uh, silver design perfect for any system builds if it wants the kind of all white design um, yeah so check it out I'll uh, play the uh, unboxing and we'll see you in a bit hey what's up guys Winston here and today We'll be taking a quick look at the ASRock B650 Steel Legend Wi-Fi motherboard. The ASRock B650 Steel Legend Wi-Fi is an affordable, feature-rich motherboard and comes in an all-white and silver design. It supports all of the latest AMD Ryzen 7000 and 8000 series of processors on the AM5 socket and supports memory speeds of up to DDR5 7200 plus OC. It features a 14 plus 2 plus 1 power freeze design, 80 amps Dr. Moss for B-Core and 20k capacitors for superb power delivery. Expansion slots include one PCI 5x16 slot, one PCI 3x16 slot and one PCI 4x1 slot. For storage it comes with four SATA ports and one blazing M.2 PCI Gen 5x4 and two Hyper M.2 PCI Gen 4x4. And for connectivity, it comes with a Dragon 2.5 gigabit LAN and supports Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth. It comes with a total of 19 USB ports, which is more than plenty for most users out there. And for graphics card output, you get the HDMI 2.1 and DisplayPort 1.4. And finally, you get all of ASRock's unique features, which includes the 7.1 HD Nehemic audio, and of course, ASRock's Polychrome Sync for great lightning effects. We'll be testing some motherboard using AMD's Ryzen 7 7800X 3D processor along with 32GB of DDR5 72 RAM. And for graphics, we'll be using the Radeon RX 1700 XTX to see how it performs. So let's put this into our test rig, but before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing and uh, we'll see you in a bit. Alright, let's do a quick unboxing of the ASRock B650 Steel Legend Wi-Fi motherboard. Let's take a look inside the box. Okay, here we have the motherboard. We'll take a look at that in a sec. Let's have a look at the accessories. Okay, we have two of the Wi-Fi antennas. It's the uh, user manual. An AM5 CPU installation guide. A Steel Legend postcard. Okay, we have one M.2 screw mount and three M.2 screws for your SSDs. A pair of SATA cables and a pair of uh, Velcro straps for your cable management. All right. Okay. 
All right, here we have the motherboard. It's the uh, ASRock B650 Steel Legend Wi-Fi. Here's the AM5 socket, supporting all the latest Ryzen 7000 and 8000 series of processors. Let's take a look at the back of the board. We have a nice Steel Legend branding at the back. This motherboard comes in an all white and silver design, very nice. Some large heat sinks here for your VRM and MOSFETs and on this side here as well, covering the IO hood with a very nice Steel Legend logo and uh, very nice. Okay, let's start off the top here. We have two of the eight pin PCI power connectors for your uh, motherboard. And uh, top right here, we have two uh, headers for your fans and two more headers for your RGB, ARGB. And then on this side, we have the ATX power connectors, 24 pin ATX power connectors, USB 3, USB type E for your front USB 3.2 Gen 2x2. USB 3 port, another one, and four SATA ports for your SSDs. At the bottom right here, we have pinouts for your uh, on off switches, speakers, and then we've got two headers for your USB 2s. There's a clear CMOS pinout and three headers for your fans. We've got one more ARGB three pin header here and a four pin ARGB. And there's your HD audio output right there. Okay. Let's have a look at the uh, expansion slots. We have one PCI 5 times 16 slot, one PCI 3 times 16 slot, and one PCI 4 times 1 slot. Underneath this heatsink, we have the uh, Blazing M.2 PCI Gen 5x4 slot for your SSD. And under this long heatsink, we have uh, two Hyper M.2 slots for your PCI Gen 4 SSDs. All right. Here we have the DIMM slots, uh, DDR5 DIMM slots, supporting memory speeds of up to DDR5 7200OC. And let's take a look at the uh, I.O. We'll start off on this side. We have the DisplayPort 1.4, the HDMI 2.1. We have the connectors for your Wi-Fi 6E, uh, the BIOS flashback button, and we have four USB 3.2. And then we've got four more USBs, and two of them are the USB 3.2 Gen 1 and also a USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 with a USB C connector there. Here's your 2.5 gigabit LAN, and we've got audio outputs there, including the mic out, line in, and SP diff. All right, we're going to be testing this motherboard using a Ryzen 7 7800X 3D processor along with some nice DDR5 7200 RAM. And of course, we'll use a Radeon RX 7900 XTX graphics card to see how this performs. All right, so this was a quick unboxing of the ASRock B650 Steel Legend Wi-Fi motherboard. If you're one of those PC enthusiasts who own an all-glass panel chassis with a panoramic view 
and you love to show off your components, then having a motherboard with an all-white design will make your system pop. Producing a motherboard that offers good performance yet affordable is the key to success. So has ASRock done this with their B650 Steel Legend Wi-Fi? Well, I have to say yes. It supports all of the latest AMD Ryzen 7000 and 8000 series of processors and support memory speeds above the DR5 7200 plus OC. It comes packed with features including support for PCIe 5 for both GPU and NVMe SSDs, plus it comes in an all-white silver design. During our tests, we use an AMD Ryzen 7 7800 X3D processor and a Radeon RX 7900 XTX graphics card. We managed to get some really good scores in all of our benchmarks, including a Cinebench score of 17,295 multi-core and 1,668 single-core. For PC Mark 10, we got a score of 9,728 and a score of 9,628 for Pass Mark 10. For UL's Procyon Photo Editing Benchmark, we got really good scores of 9,075 and 8,048 for the Video Editing Suite. For 3D Mark Speedway and Port Royal, we got decent scores of 6,303 and 16,440 respectively. And finally, for Timespire Fire Strike, we got a phenomenal score of 25,392 and 50,100 respectively. Not only does the ASRock B650 Steel Legend Wi-Fi look aesthetically gorgeous, but also offers decent performance and great features at a price that's attractively affordable. Put this motherboard into any all glass panel chassis with a panoramic view and prepare to wow your friends. You can check out the full review on our website at funkykit.com. And there you have it, that was a quick unboxing of the ASRock B650 Steel Legend Wi Fi motherboard. An affordable, feature rich motherboard that offers decent performance and comes in an all white silver design. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like and leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via the links in the description and of course visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FuckKit.com. Alright guys, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that. That was a quick unboxing of the ASRock B650 Steel Legend Wi-Fi motherboard. Uh, fantastic, really a fantastic affordable motherboard for uh, all the Ryzen 7000 as well as 8000 series of processors. Um, you know, great looking board with uh, white aesthetics, uh, perfect for the uh, all white PC build and uh, has all the features for gaming and everything. So um, go and check it out. Full review on our website as well as the video which you just saw on our YouTube channel. All right, welcome to the show, Draw29 and... Uh, we're just getting the uh, the show uh, running now and uh, let's take a look at some of the features on our website and this is what we have and this is the Rig Builder, the system configurator by Funky Kit, helping you get the latest prices from Amazon. That's right, um, Rig Builder, uh, great tool developed by my brother Yao, um, helping you to get some prices of Amazon, really good tool. So let's go and check it out. So you'll find Rig Builder on our website right here uh on the top you can see the shop rig builder right here or you can go to uh rig builder right here and also this icon on the left oh sorry right hand side um system configurator let's take a look and this part here is quite simple you just choose gaming or workstation most people just leave it as gaming and uh, we're gonna select a budget of say uh, 1900 dollars uh we're gonna select intel processor and we'll go for the nvidia graphics card all right so uh that's it that's it you just need to input these three items here budget the processor type the graphics card and hit the submit button and what will happen is it will go to amazon and it will fetch the latest prices best matching your criteria so if you picked an intel processor it will match it with an intel board right so let's uh, have a look it's giving me a, f a selection of four we have uh, Quai 7, 13, 700. We have uh, 1200. There. Let's go for the um, KF version right here. 13600. Mm. Actually, no, I'll go for the 1300. 13700. Here you go. And then you need a, a Z790 or a, a B760. Um, here, looks like all Z70 boards, which is great. That's perfect for the processor there. Uh, oh, we have a, a B760 as well here. 
I'm gonna go with how about the uh, uh, gigabyte? I'll just leave it at gigabyte. Here you go. This is 790. Yeah, you go. That's fine. All right. Moving on to graphics car, we got we selected our GeForce RTX uh, Nvidia. So we have uh, 4070s here. We have 4070 Supers now. So that's good. We'll go for the uh, 4070 Super. That's the new type. Just re uh, recently launched in January last month. And then we have memory DDR5 RAM. We need okay. We got some G Skill Corsair, uh, G Skill Trident Z5. That's good enough. We'll leave it at that. DDR5 6000. 32 gig kit that's okay that's great uh, we've got uh, moved on to ssds we have lexa samsung 980s 990s or oh, western digital oh samsung 990 pro two terabyte gen 4 yeah we'll go for that one there you go two terabyte gen 4 samsung 990 pros okay good moving on to power supplies we have corsair msi three more take Okay, uh, we'll need something like 850 or 1000. How about 1000 watt? Here you go, Corsair 1000 watt. That's a good enough. Yep, that's good enough. And then we've got cases. We've got Thermal Take, Fractal Design, H, uh, NZXT H9. I like the NZXT, so I'm going to go with that. Right, before we click the app or buy all, I want to quickly show you um, some of the features about this rig builder so you can see the text here you can move your mouse hovers over the text or the price so what happened is if you click on the text or the price it will open a new page and it will go into the product in more detail it tells you uh you know the types different types of the uh, boards you can select which is great um of course you can go into uh, other products as well and you can check out this one for example I'll click on the price and you will go into uh the actual product you can see different uh, variations different uh, versions of the product and you can go in and check out more details about that which is perfect all right once you're happy with that list hit the buy all button and what next it will go to a summary page of all the items you selected okay any items which is not available is mentioned here all right so looks like PMY it's not available PMY GeForce RTX 4070 super so we can go back and then reselect a different type of graphics card. And uh, this time we'll go with the, uh, I will yeah, I'll go for the Gigabyte one here, you go. RTX 4070. Uh, oh, okay. All right, let's uh, give that a try. And uh, as you can see, all the items uh, are in stock, perfect. Uh, once you have this uh, summary page, next thing to do is add, add the card. Once you've added the card, You'll be able to uh, remove any items that you don't want or you maybe add some other items that you've just searched and uh, of course then check out to, uh, to pay for the items um, it's a great tool for you guys to get some prices of amazon and uh, rig builder is here to help so make sure of course you share with your friends um, just use it to see what the prices are um, of course prices go up and down uh, last month's price may not be uh, maybe different to this month's price and they you know so it's a, it's a great tool to get the current prices of course amazon uh, can be uh, late updating their prices but hey you, you you get the idea right so you know you, you have a budget you're not sure what to get um what rig builder does is it gives you a selection of a, fi a selection of five items in each category and uh just select the ones that you think uh you fancy and uh it's a really, really good tool for you guys to get uh, some prices of amazon okay hope you enjoyed that make sure you uh share and uh keep using it yeah great all right next up we have our weekly usual and that is of course it's time for funky kits mods of the week yes mods of the week taken from my extreme pc modern group uh now with the name x pcm all right so uh it's a great t uh, place to get some modding ideas or if you have any mods that you want to post or any pc projects that you've built uh you can post it there to uh for everyone to share all right let's uh let's re refresh the page give me a second here we go just need to refresh the page make sure we have the latest on facebook all right here we go xpcm crossover with funky kit well you no know, we, we've actually developed this page or set up this page uh, back in 2016 so it's been a while 
um, but uh, it has grown quite considerably. So we're we're on ninety five thousand members or ninety four thousand members. We're aiming to get a hundred thousand members. All right. So let's uh, let's scroll down and see what uh, we have. We have this one here. Oh, have you seen this one before? This one's uh, for posted by Rattle Row and it's from Mori Kaliop Kaliop uh, built for from Ben Wayland. Okay. Let's let's take a closer look. Okay, so not bad. Uh, it's got this graphic design, uh, nice graphics here. Oh, it's oh, it's a glass. Okay, so it got glass. It looks like a decal stuck on there. Nice. Uh, oh, I like the trims at the bottom here. Uh, graphics card uh, looks like a um, is that a sapphire? Yeah, it looks like a sapphire car. Uh, all in one cooler RAM. Okay. Oh, it's okay. Not bad. Oh, I like the big fans here. That looks like a 140. We've got two 140s there. Eh? Um, oh, that's the that's with the glass on. It's nice decals. You can get these decals. You can actually order them and uh, just stick them on. I the think is with decals is great because it's not paint work, so you can actually peel them off and put in put a new decal if you want. They do look good uh of course based on your kind of theme and you know and if you're bored with that theme you can peel peel it off and then you know put another one in uh rgb looks nice with the theme there is that the back of the case or oh, the other side okay oh the other side looks a bit odd okay all right so this one just oh cabling cable management oh i like the pink uh power extension cables um it's not great but it's the kind of cable management i would have done <laughs> similar <laughs> it's okay it's okay not too bad uh, it, it's the it's just, yeah this is the uh, sapphire or oh, power color sorry power color power color looks like a, it's the hellbound uh radion graphics card okay uh this one okay nicely built uh nothing hugely special about this yeah I'll, I'll give it a 7 7.5 all right moving on to the next one and we have this one here rog uh rio gin 3 build okay it's got the uh this is the rog case right it's just nice you know it's rog right um got these handles at the top which uh as part of the design there oh uh black tubing going around the um the gpu water block very nice bits power gpu water block oh okay um bits power right it says bits power there uh bits power bits power no sorry bits power uh components and fittings this is the rog uh, display um the rio gin right and then we have the uh look what appears to be g skill ram okay nice uh, RAM is just about accessible, I guess. Uh, yeah, it should be accessible. Okay. Um, this is with everything built in, and all the components. What do you think, guys? Uh, nice. The water pump, I guess. I would have done a, a distro plate. Uh, water pump is a little bit kind of, I mean, the, the reservoir, I should say. Um, a little bit out of date for me, for my taste. Uh, it was great. You know back in like two three four years ago uh but this replace kind of the thing you want to have now these days especially with this replace you can have uh, built-in pumps all right pretty much standard just a standard black rg appearing uh, case um i've seen others with uh paint paint work on them like proper paint work on the actual handles and the front bit okay it's a nice build um but you know if you have a case like this and you have water cooling in there i would have make it i would have added a little bit of paint work in there make it look a little bit i've seen ones with the painted um what are these these are frame the foot on the top yeah and it looked good as well so this one yeah yeah i'll i'll, I'll give it a 7.5 possibly 8 for this one yeah all right next up that's what we have here oh this is my little video go and check it out it's my video short what do you think 
I've been learning a lot of video tricks lately. <laughs> so uh, this one I learned and uh, it's a very fun little uh, trick. Like you have to film the same shot uh, four or five times depending on the changes, right? T uh, the, what we call it little transitions there. So if you have four transitions or five transitions, you have to film it five times or five, four or five times and then um, kind of stitch it up then do a, a screenshot of the the, the the clip which transitions to. You take the, the screenshot and you black, uh, remove the background and kind of like overlay the image and then use a, um, a time timeline kind of editor uh, to kind of, uh, yeah, like, what do you call it? Um, yeah, those uh, set points and then you kind of like do these effects on there so yeah it's a little video trick i learned it looks it looks pretty good i'll, I'll be using more of these kind of uh, video tricks for my videos uh, well to give you an idea why it's so engaging is that i posted this last night and it, it's already reached like um like two to three thousand views already so <laughs> yeah not bad uh, okay moving on uh what the and the hell is this is that a is that a case a briefcase? <laughs> oh, what the, what happened here? Oh, okay. it looks like a case, a suitcase. Okay, it's got the air cooler, low profile graphics cards uh, on this vertically but horizontally mounted. Yeah. Okay, it looks like he's carrying this around with him. Power supply is there, which is odd. Okay. I don't know why they put this on, on this kind of case. Oh, it's a tool case. Uh, with the LCD. Oh, it's a tool case. Okay. Um, unique idea. Uh, I would have probably done some paint work to make it a bit more nicer looking. Um, the fan, for example, for the cooler. I would have added a little bit of RGB in there um, and maybe some nice cable management would have would have been would have made it look better and that LCD looks like a, something from I don't know something from the 90s <laughs> that, that LCD that needs to be improved man okay all right uh, this one I, I sorry I just gonna give it a, a five it's just it's a nice idea but poorly executed yeah. All right. Okay, we have this one here. This is interesting. Uh, modern cafe, aka uh, wind in. Oh, okay, it's from. I'm guessing it's from Thailand. There. Um, let's take a look. All right. So we have acrylic, kind of uh, motherboard plate. I'm guessing. Is that a distro plate? Oh, don't tell me that's a distro plate. Okay, let's let's move on to the next picture because I can't quite see. Uh, that, my friend, looks like a distro plate. Oh my word! If it is a distro plate, I'm talking about the the motherboard base uh, tray uh, back plates because that here it looks like a distro plate. Uh, let's take a closer look. Oh my god, it is! It is a distro plate. Oh my word, this thing. Oh, 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 get the hinge and this uh, this other glass panel locks down. Okay, I got you. I got you. Uh, the bottom here looks like um, where the power supply fits and probably more distro plate and the pump and so on. And that, I'm guessing, is a graphics card. Yeah, graphics card with a GP water block. Uh, in fact, that's a G and that's a CP water block too. Okay, uh, accessible RAM, great. And then that's all going to distro plate, and then goes from the distro plate back the back motherboard distro plate going into the bottom here, which has the main distro plate with a pump and power supply. Man, this is a crazy build. I love this. I would have had this panel, this glass panel. I don't need all this kind of funky stuff. I just want a 
clear glass panel to see everything else, right? But this case though, this this mod, oh my word. Oh, look at that. That is some crazy, well thought out build. Man, I'm gonna give this a 10. I am gonna give this a 10. This is a 10 for me, guys. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. This is fantastic. I'm telling you, this thing, this whole thing, this whole motherboard backplate is a distro plate. And it's angled as well. That's crazy. That is crazy. It's fantastic. I gotta got admit. So, um, yeah, 10 for me. I don't know with that cover blocks the RAM. Uh, yeah, the, the actual uh, acrylic or glass. I'm guessing it's acrylic. Um, panel uh, will block the RAM, of course. It's, it's just like a side panel, right? But it's... it's uh, yeah, this is amazing. I, I gotta give this a 10. Well done to this guy who actually built it. Um, okay, next up. This is a video, I don't want to play it because it gets too loud. But you can see, um, looks like a, a Lian Li chassis there. Uh, yeah, and we've got the Lian Li distro plate there. Uh, 360, and, and the graphics card is using the GPU uh, mount. Vertical mount with um, 45 degrees angle there. Very nice build. I quite like this. Um, I, I'm going to give this uh, a nice 8. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Next up, uh, we have this one here. I'm not sure if it's fully built yet, but it looks like a, it's a 3D printed. Um, yeah, it looks like a 3D print case. <laughs> those Victorian Victorian kind of uh, building a uh, power supply see at the bottom you got the motherboard right there can we see anything else I can't see the you know if 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 the guys actually painted it like the red brick and you got the lighting pole and everything goes with the paintwork I guess he hasn't finished it yet because it's like a black and white photo right but uh, it looks like all these are 3d printed parts um so yeah i'll wait until the guys actually finished it with the paint so so far i would probably give it a, a seven to eight because we actually see and we haven't seen the actual full finished product in full color i'd love to see how it looks so we'll leave it at that all right moving on uh to this one here we've got some nice simplistic kind of uh kind of wood black kind of theme build here okay not bad uh looks like noctua fans they're great noctua fans are great super silent and of course you get some good airflow as well oh i like the copper tubing copper tubing looks good it goes well with the theme the black and kind of wood and copper looking theme accessible ram yeah not bad okay all right that's that's nice I, I i do like this it's very nice yeah i like the the, the copy tubing and unusual having the reservoir kind of fitted horizontally horizontally and most uh, reservoirs and pump are usually uh, on a vertical kind of orientation this one's on the horizontal um yeah I, I i like it black copper wood kind of theme to it as a guy put in here uh, switched on with the rgb okay a little bit of a uh, kind of uh, pink rgb i would have preferred probably orange ish color gold orange color to go with the system not bad not bad uh, i'll give this an eight eight point five eight eight yeah nice okay next up uh oh valentine's of course valentine's was uh wednesday i've got some valentine's build here 
this is a, a Leon Lee Vision O11 Vision with a top glass panel on top, side and front. Um, I've seen nice builds with these cases, but I'm not a big fan of the uh, the glass on top. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that um, because it it means there's less space for mounting a radiator, <laughs> right? <laughs> or fans. Uh, that's of course you can put that on either side. It's a dual chamber, of course, if it's. Uh, one of the any cases, but the tubing though, um, I've seen some I've seen some heart shaped tubing before. This one looks a bit on a wobbly side. It's not actually a, a perfect heart shape, you know. But good effort. Let's uh, <laughs> you you see what I mean. The heart shape is not actually looks like it looks like a pretzel. <laughs> it looks like a pretzel shaped heart. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it looks like a pretzel. <laughs> but, you know, fair dues. He, he, the guy did try. Good effort. Gives uh, uh, his hug me, be mine. Okay. Uh, reservoir with these little uh, heart stickers on there. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. There you go. What do you think? Um... Well, good effort, right? Good effort. I I'm going to give this um, a 7.5. Yeah, you're right. 7.5. It's not quite an 8 yet. Uh, you know, but fair dues, accessible RAM, you know, and um, it's okay. It's not bad. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. So, yeah, 7.5 for me for this one. All right. Okay, moving on to the next one here. This guy, uh, Sail North, he's got them. He's got some workstation kind of um, or server slash workstation kind of designer. Look, look at those, look at those slots here. I'm guessing they're all PCIe slots, right? Um, yeah. It's kind of it's kind of like the uh, uh, kind of last year, or the year before was built like 2000, early 2000 kind of cases. That, you know, you see them. All right, this one is just one photo, right? It's from um, Gigabyte's uh, social media page, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a fridge. <laughs> okay, it's a fridge. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a real fridge. I'm guessing it's not. It's not. It's not a real fridge. It's just. Uh, I'm guessing it's just a old fridge from somewhere, and they kind of modified it. It's not working, of course. Um, and you have that little uh, kind of separator, a divider, and you put the actual motherboard on there. Uh, we've got the uh, radiators and fans at the top. You got the GPU water block in the middle. Reservoir kind of is on the, on the left hand side. Uh, power extension cables kind of all over the place. Uh, you know, it's it's a it's a mod. Um, but the fridge is definitely not working because if it was working you're going to get a lot of uh, condensation and it's going to kill the system let me tell you but <laughs> you're going to give it a three round row <laughs> okay i'm not that cruel I i'm going to give this uh, a, a five okay i'm, I'm going to give this a five <laughs> oh, that's funny all right so we have this one i don't think i've seen this one holographic mod from uh Ponsoran uh Romblist Romblast. Okay. Let's let's take a look. Let's take a closer look. Oh okay, thermal takes, uh, invitational mod uh, 2023. Holographic. Holographic. Hmm, okay. Let's uh let's zoom it in. Uh RAM is accessible, interestingly. The motherboard orientation is facing up. Uh, the graphics card vertically like that. Uh, okay, next up, it's it's like this in the front, so it's almost like an open chassis. Definitely get good airflow though. Um, red and white themed, and then you have uh, white heat sink on the motherboard and uh, everything else. Yeah, they got white graphics card. So yeah, so it's a white themed uh, PC with a bit of red in there. Um, what do you think? Um, not bad. 
not bad at all. Uh, I, 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 you know, I, I would, um, I would probably give it. I will probably give it an eight. Yeah, yeah. It's it's unusual. Um, you know, I'm I'm guessing the these panels on the on the front can be removed. Yeah, I'll give it an eight. Eight's good for me for this one. Okay, and uh, I have I seen this one before? I told you from last time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is from last time. We'll take another look at this. Oh my god! Look at the graphics card. Wow. Those cables though. And you have uh, the water pump, and you've got the radiator there. Uh, motherboard is Mini ITX. Uh, totally crazy looking mod. Um, yeah, I saw that from last week. Yeah, so this one, uh, yeah, I'll still give it. A, I'll still give this a nine. This is de decent, decent. Yeah, I posted five days ago. <laughs> okay. And this is the video. Okay, let's let's look at the video i don't want to see i don't want to click on it because it's uh, quite loud oh not much to see yeah i'll leave that one all right you're the dragon yes I, i've seen this one before uh this is an all glass it's no no glass it's uh, acrylic i'm sure it's acrylic because you got the bolts at the top here you can't do that with glass Looks like an all acrylic design. Wow. You're the dragon. Of course, Chinese New Year. You're the dragon. That was uh, last week. And uh, the tubing, although it's kind of like all over the place, it goes well with it, surprisingly. You know, this kind of design, you can't have, well, obviously, you can't have straight tubing. But it goes well with the bending of the dragon and stuff like that. So the tubing looks to match with that. Not bad build, to be honest with you. All right, let's take a look at clo a closer look. That is another one. Uh, this one is uh, what a tubing go into. Is that a is that a tubing? I can't see where the inlets and outlets go. I don't think this is tubing. I think it's just. Mm. Oh, AI generated. Oh, this is AI generated. Shit. Is that the. Is that also. That's also. Ah. Oh, damn. There's, there's me thinking it was real. No, it's AI generated. It would have been nice if it was. Because I'm looking at that. I said, where's the hell? Where's the hell's the tubing? <laughs> right? I can't see the tubing. <laughs> so it's going to nowhere. That doesn't look like it's it's looping back in itself. Um, no AI generated damn thing, but it looks good though. Oh man, see the dangers of AI. Shit, this is me thinking it's real. And look at the bombs. AI generated. So I said, "Hey, Jack, Chat GBT, show me a uh, water cooled PC. Uh, you're the dragon. Uh, I want pink." Uh, coolant or red coolant. I want to uh, see through glass panels and acrylic. <laughs> and it comes up with something like this. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. AI generated. All right. Moving on. Um, we have this one here. Oh, this is funny. Bubble tea PC. Uh, at Aftershock PC. Bubble bubble tea. Um, I don't see any bubble tea though. It looks like a a strawberry a strawberry uh, smoothie. Um, why is that apple looking reservoir doing when it's not going into anywhere? Uh, oh, is that? Oh, that's a straw. There's me thinking it's, it's, it's a tubing, but no, it's a straw. Okay. So you should have a little bend like that. So it looks like a straw. Leho, Leho tea. Okay. Um, I'm guessing it's not tea. It's not bubble tea. It's a uh, straw strawberry tea, I guess. Yeah, strawberry strawberry tea, I guess. Oh, that's the front. Is that the other side? 
<laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, I would have like, um, yeah, not not my kind of thing. I, I'm just gonna give this a six. Artwork's okay, but yeah, not for me. Probably built for the uh, company. Yeah, sea of names. Yeah, yeah. Probably a promotional thing. They put it. They put it in the uh, the shop for everyone to see. Hey, that looks cute. Yeah. Would you like to donate? Yeah. Give me two dollars, three dollars per visit. I'm, I'm I'm hoping that's not coolant, right? <laughs> it's gonna spout out. <laughs> no. Okay. Ah, uh, not for me. It doesn't do anything for me. I'll, I'll give it a six. Yeah, six for this one. Alright, moving on to the next one. Uh, I think I've seen that one. Uh, hasn't been fully built yet. Oh, it has. Yeah, has. yeah, yeah. I will quickly look at that. Six days ago, yeah, I think I've seen that one. Okay. Yeah. AI generated. Alright, I think that is pretty much it for Mods of the Week. Alright. Oh, we'll do one more. We'll do this one here. Looks very nice. This one's the... Uh, uh, I'm guessing it's a Lian Li. Uh, with the, yeah, uh, O11 vision. Uh, see, clean, nice, clean build. Um, matching all in one white, the white fans. Uh, of course, um, I would have preferred it with a white graphics card. Uh, then this would have been nice. It's, uh, it's a nice build because you can see everything from all angles, right? Full panoramic view, side, top. Uh, and on the front as well so not bad build nice nice build uh, with the um, oh it's PCMR uh, collab with that very nice okay great great stuff great stuff okay um, yeah I like it I really like it so and is that one more uh, oh have we seen this one Let's take a look at closer look at this one. This one uh, it's a thermal take one. Yeah, thermal take. Okay build. Not bad. It's not great, but nice nicely built. Uh it's got this kind of gun gundam feel to it, right? With the uh these panels here. Twenty five anniversary, yeah. Thermal take's twenty fifth anniversary, yeah, so very nice. Oh, I'll give this a nice eight as well, and I think that is it. Yeah, that is it. Okay, what well, is my build? That's the XPCM kit. All right. So, um, hope you enjoyed that. That's mods of the week taken from my Extreme PC modding group, and uh, plenty of mods for you guys to see. And if you have any mods or any builds that you want to post, go ahead, get over there, uh, sign up, and uh, join the group. And you can start posting your mods uh, and share your mods for everyone to see. All right, so we're going to take a quick break. And after the break, we have some news about uh, Gigabyte collaboration. And also, we're going to talk about some of the uh, project build of this year, the first project build that we're going to be doing this year, and uh, see what components I'm expecting to use for this project build. All right, and we'll have, of course, prize giveaway announcements and stuff like that. And we'll do a live prize giveaway as well. So enjoy the break, and we'll be back after this short break.
Hey guys, welcome back. Yes, welcome back to the Funky Kiss Show Live. And uh, just uh, let you know that we've just covered the uh, news and updates on our Funky Kit website as well as AP3D. We did a quick unboxing of the uh, ASRock B650 Steel Legend Wi-Fi motherboard. And also we covered the rig builder, our system configurator developed by member of the hours. Fantastic tool for you guys to get some prices off Amazon. And uh, of course we did the mods of the week taken from our Extreme PC modding group, XPCM going forward and uh, next up we're going to talk about the Giga, uh, gigabyte collaboration which uh, we kind of agreed on uh, this week so what will that mean well we're going to see a lot more gigabyte uh, stuff on our website now so uh, we'll have some banners we'll uh, do some videos with we'll some video shorts uh, lots of uh, gigabyte reviews as well going forward and uh, it's been fantastic uh, it's one of our better news of this year and uh, we're looking to get uh, some collaboration with other brands as well so uh, we will see uh, more of those hopefully uh, as soon as everything is approved uh, we will have those announcements but they're yeah, fantastic tool uh, uh, great news for um, for this year so we already collaborated with uh, ASRock that will continue and uh, going forward then we'll have Gigabyte as well uh, which means again uh, more reviews more videos and uh, we'll do a lot more stuff with gigabyte including um, project builds but be before we move on um, I want to talk a little bit more about uh, what we're going to be doing with gigabyte um, so as you see uh, on our social media we've been doing a lot of video shorts and uh, practicing my little videos tricks and skills so we'll uh, we'll have more of those uh, for you guys uh, in the form of video shorts as well and uh, the collaboration with Gigabyte is going to be great because uh, we'll be promoting some of their uh, products as well. So Gigabyte, we've had a long history with Gigabyte over the uh, years. I mean, I remember uh, way back in 2000 and uh, I think 2008, uh, even longer than that. Um, we've had a collaboration with Gigabyte and also in 2010, we did the uh, Gigabyte Overclocking Championships that was hosted in Taiwan. And then throughout the years, we've worked with Gigabyte through uh, with lots of projects and, and stuff like that. But uh, uh, this year, because of course we've moved to, from different places, from UK to Hong Kong, and Hong Kong back to, over to Canada. So we're based in Canada now, and um, we're speaking to the Gigabyte uh, North America. Uh, we're able then to establish a more of a, a kind of um, yeah, just kind of more collaboration now. So we're going to do again lots of videos lots of uh, reviews and stuff like that and uh, project builds and uh, we're gonna do a, a product introduction uh, on our live stream as well so we're gonna do two of those um, which means what will happen is uh, we'll have a gigabyte rep on on our show live and then he will or he or she will then demo some of their products uh, live on our show which is great which means that uh, you will get first-hand um, knowledge as well as a look at their products uh, from their side and they'll have a rep talking about their products some of their features on their products as well and you guys can ask questions live on a show so um, the dates not set on those but we're looking at maybe doing one uh, sometime in April or May and another one uh, towards like August September and uh, we'll have a gigabyte rep on a live show for you guys to ask questions so if you have any questions that you want to ask about a particular product then you go ahead and do that so uh, that's come up and coming and of course we'll have um, lots of uh, special deals from gigabyte including prize giveaways that's right so right now you can see most of the prize giveaways is sponsored by asrock that will continue but we'll also have uh, prize giveaways from gigabyte as well so uh, lots to look forward to so thank you gigabyte for this uh, opportunity and i can't wait to get this collab working throughout this year for you guys all right so look out for that lots of gigabyte reviews videos streams and uh, uh of course shorts and reels as well as prize giveaways can't wait can't wait so that's the announcement so thank you gigabyte for the opportunity and thank you guys for supporting us uh, over the years and uh, it's paid off. So you're gonna get lots of gigabyte stuff. Yes, coming soon. <laughs> All right, next up, um, let's talk about our project. So as you know, we do two PC project builds a year, one at the beginning of the year and one towards the end of the year. So for this year, uh, we're gonna be building a uh, 
new PC project and we're looking to get some gigabyte uh, products to build. So um, I'm looking at some of their new products. Uh, let's, let's bring up the gigabyte page. Okay. Now um, I've, I've reviewed some of their boards and the boards have always been pretty decent. And um, for that, let me just bring up this page here you go. And uh, we're looking at one of these boards. Uh, probably Z790. Uh, we don't know. It could be a uh, X670E or something like that um, for maybe a, a Ryzen processor. But right now we haven't decided which board to use. But we're going to be using one of the Aorus um, boards for the build. And for that, we're also going to be looking into the graphics card. So again, it could be Aorus um, branded graphics card or it could be a, the Aero. As you know, Aero uh, is the white themed uh, cards. So we haven't decided which is going to be using. It could, be, it could even be the gaming OC brands that we've used or reviewed recently. We did review the uh, 4080, the RTX 4080 Super. So we got one of those already. Uh, I could be using that instead. So um, graphics card, um, I'm looking to probably ask to build an, an all Aorus build. So Aorus motherboard, Aorus uh, graphics card and so on right or possibly an aero build so it'd be an all aero motherboard all aero graphics card and so on so it depends on what gigabyte will be giving us and then um cooler uh i'm looking at this one here they don't have a yeah they don't have a aero cooler but if it's an aero cooler it will probably be the white one um but yeah i'm looking at the lcd uh, version of this so Yes, it will be a gigabyte theme build, and then uh, possibly we'll go for one of the SSDs. Uh, the SSD is the big one, the Gen 5 S SSD. So I'm not sure which Gen 5 SSD I'll, I'll, they'll provide. This is not confirmed by the way, but I'm hoping to get um, kind of a whole list of, a whole, whole bunch of uh, gigabyte products so that I can build a gigabyte themed PC build. And uh, of course, we'll do live streams and videos, a full build log and so on. So we're looking to do that. Uh, but yeah, that's the collaboration. One of the collaboration we'll be doing as well for Gigabyte. And um, with that, uh, as soon as we know the, comp uh, the components list, I will let you know. The only thing that uh, we haven't decided to get is the, gra the, the RAM, which brand of RAM we'll be using to kind of promote this. Possibly the Patriot memory because they do very good or fast DDR5 RAM. So could be Alexa, could be uh, Patriot. We haven't decided yet. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, the case. Yes, the case. Um, we're looking to get the Height Y70 uh, case with the glass panels, not the Y70 uh, touch because the touch is the touchscreen panel from the front and they're out of stock at the moment. But I uh, hopefully we'll be getting a uh, the standard version, the, the Y70, with uh, all glass panels, right? With that, then I'll be able to really show off all the components. And um, yeah, that, that's that's pretty much it for, for the uh, PC build. It'll be a gigabyte theme PC build. Uh, I'll probably be putting some decals as well, make it look a little bit fancy, but we haven't decided yet. So hopefully um, we'll know by end of February, beginning of March, what type of components uh, Gigabyte will give us to build the project build and uh, fantastic, can't wait for that. So that's the news, so very exciting for this year. Uh, again, thank you Gigabyte for this opportunity and we're doing a collab this year with, uh, with Gigabyte and uh, we'll see a lot more Gigabyte products on our site, reviews, videos and lots of uh, video shorts, simple kind of one minute uh, video shorts with different things. For example, I'll be highlighting some of their features on their board so we'll have like a one minute a couple of video shorts a few in fact on some of the uh, features on their products right so you know like i think i did one with um the gigabyte board with the usb connector inside on the board on the motherboard and that usb connector is basically a display port usb uh, 4 i think the usb c uh which connects up to a external monitor and those little features which 
people kind of skip or don't realize it has. Of course, you can read the specs, but you know, having it actually operating, see what it looks like, right? Um, so we'll do more detailed kind of uh, video shorts on those, both finer details, those features that people kind of like, you know, step over or, or, or miss. And um, so that's that. Yeah, so I can't wait. And of course, we'll continue with collab with ASRock. We'll continue with that as well because uh, ASRock's been sponsoring us uh, for quite a while with their, uh, you know, products and giveaways and that. And there, we're looking forward to extra giveaways from Gigabyte as well. So, great news, fantastic. All right. Okay. With that said, um, prize giveaway announcements. So let's head over to the website and see what prize giveaways we have. Uh, prize giveaways. So for this uh, this month, we have this one here, the new one. This was posted uh, only yesterday. This is the ASRock uh, B650M PG Riptide motherboard. So we got two to give away right now on our website. All you need to do is, uh, again, visit the site, um, to scroll down to what you need to do. Uh, follow us on Instagram, watch our videos, sign up, like our page and, and stuff like that. So this is happening right now on our website. Get over to funkygeek.com um, and check out the prize giveaway section here. Closing date 22nd of March. So plenty of time for you guys to uh, check out this new prize giveaway. We're giving two of these away. The ASRock B650M PG Riptide motherboard. And also, we have other prize giveaways, including this one here, the uh, ASRock uh, Z790PG Lightning motherboard, okay? So this is what we're going to give away as well. Um, great board for uh, you know, mainstream gamers and stuff like that. It comes with uh, Wi-Fi built in, supports all the latest Ryzen, uh, sorry, Intel processors, 14th, 13th and 12th, 12th gen on the 1700 socket. Um, a very affordable board and also it comes with a EDP port, uh, external display port. Comes with Wi-Fi built in, supports the DR5 RAM, uh, it's even including a PS, PS2 keyboard and mouse connector. Interesting. Very nice. You check out the full video on our YouTube channel as well as full review on our website. Again, uh, all you need to do is give us a follow. Uh, watch our videos and stuff like that closing date on the 1st of march so this one in a couple of weeks time all right we've got one to give away on this one can't wait so two prize giveaways uh right now happening on our site please uh go ahead and uh also uh winner of this one so yeah the winner was bella bella won this one it was the B650E Tai Chi, so congrats, you've won this board and actually shipped it out uh, last week. So congrats to Bella for winning this board. Alright, so those are the prize giveaways that we have. Uh, I want to mention some of the podcasts with Stephen and I. So Stephen and I, uh, we released this one here, This uh, um, the latest one, which was announced and released on Wednesday. We talk about shoe tech. Apparently, there's a lot of tech behind shoes, running shoes, nitrogen infused foam, uh, carbon, uh, I think plating or something, and then you have uh, minimal shoes, kind of like stuff where you you wouldn't expect um, running shoes to have, but technology is behind it. Apparently, so we'll talk about that. Uh, go ahead and, and watch the podcast with Stephen and I. And if you missed uh, the last few, we have got the Samsung Unpacked event, and also the. Uh, uh the recent stuff that we did with uh, ces all right so that's that uh so yeah we've got a new podcast every wednesday make sure you go watch that uh Stephen and i and we're looking to aim at getting 500 plus uh subscribers and we're already already uh, almost to 100 uh, episodes already so this is great because of course we can continue with the odd podcast show we're looking to do more at CES, uh, sorry, CES Computex. So uh, hopefully we'll take the show, Compu uh, the our podcast show, Computex, uh, where we will then uh, have a uh, lots of uh, great stories from all the manufacturers and vendors at uh, Computex 
and uh, real good stories from all the CEOs and stuff like that. So if you missed any of those, you can check out the season five, I believe. Yeah, season five, where we talk to some of the guys at uh, Computex. Uh, there's there's Shannon from Patriot Memory. There's uh, here you go. there's uh, I think it's Jean. Pascal, I can't remember his name. Sorry. Um, but yeah, he's from Cool Master, and uh, we talked to Ahmed from uh, uh, Straycom. There's, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's Mike Petrons. We talked to Mike Petrons. We also, also talked to Thermal Mike. Uh, there's Nelly from Inwin, and then we have um, Rajin Tech as well. Yeah, Rajin Tech. There's Cool Master Jimmy Shah. Uh, there's Cougar Otto. There's uh, Rob Teller from uh, Height. So we've got great podcasts uh, right now on our podcast show. Make sure you watch that. If you missed any of that, please go ahead and check it out. Our podcast show. Uh, you can search it on YouTube. And please subscribe. Um, got some great stories from that. Okay. On our normal YouTube channel, for Kick It, uh, again, we'll, we'll have lots of video shorts lately. Uh, latest video include, of course, the GeForce RTX um, from Gigabyte, the GeForce RTX 48 Super. And this is the one we just recently saw in our unboxing the uh, ASRock B650 Steel Legend Wi Fi. We also taken a look at the uh, uh, Radeon RX 1700 XT. This is from ASRock. And uh, we've got some memory from uh, Lexar. And uh, of course, our PC project build. Uh, this is the height, sorry, height. This is the NZXT H6 Flow case chassis as well. Lots of videos as well. Plenty of videos. Lots of video shorts, the fun video shorts at the bottom here. You can check it out. We did some video tricks and uh, unboxing videos. Really good stuff. All right, please subscribe and follow and share. All right. So that's happening right now. Go and check it out. AI Winston. Do we have an AI Winston? <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can ask Chat GPT if you can produce an AI Winston. <laughs> see, see what happens. Uh, chat, hey, Chat GPT, could you uh, get an image of Winston from Funky Kid? Uh, add loads of, um, I don't know, tattoos? <laughs> Make him look younger. Yeah, there you go. Make make Winston look younger. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's done. Um, let's do a prize giveaway, shall we? Um, right now we haven't got any bits to give away, so we're gonna give away some merchandise. I'll think merchandise, okay? But going forward, we're gonna be get, uh, having lots of uh, stuff goodies from Gigabyte as well continuing with ASRock as well ASRock will continue to provide lots of giveaways uh, but of course going forward we have a collab with Gigabyte we're going to be giving away some Gigabyte goodies uh, it might not be like like full on products like boards and stuff like that but it will probably Gigabyte goodies including like t-shirts and I don't know mouse mats and stuff baseball caps whatever goodies right every goodies are good you know it's free right um i don't know what they're gonna give us for give prize giveaways but uh fantastic if if they do and uh, we'll be giving away stuff uh live on our show as well as on our website all right so with that said let's do a quick poll and see what you want to win right here you go i'm gonna do a quick poll poll has started head of the twitch.tv slash funky kit give us a follow and then of course join the chat and type in a command uh, of the item that you want to win all right um, while that's happening got about a minute for that and if you want to see what the merchandise looks like uh, here we go uh, available to buy right now at streamlabs.com slash funky slash merch uh, we got joggers, we got this jersey, we got the water bottle, the sports water bottle, which I'm currently using. Very good. We got the bucket hat, we have um, sweatshirts, t shirts, crop tops, uh, bomber jacket, we have the uh, water bottle, we also have the tumbler, there's the uh, mouse mat, also bun, uh, the bum bag, I call it bum bag, uh, that's what Brits call them, uh, but fanny pack, uh, we have uh, the string bag, the baseball cap. We got mugs, we got jackets, we have a, a, another t-shirt there, hoodies, another string bag, and of course flip flops. These are available to buy right now at streamlabs.com slash funky slash merch. Any process, any proceeds 
uh, will help us run the show. So thank you in advance. All right. So uh, let's take a look at the live voting. We have a jacket. Jacket is in the lead. Looks like jacket is going to be the winner uh, for going <laughs> for this prize giveaway. All right. Yeah, it looks like the jacket is the winner. Okay. So uh, the funky jacket. Let's uh, let's give away a funky jacket. Let's do that now. The jacket. Here you go. Yes, this looks good. Let me type in the uh, code. One second. Oh, sorry. I might have the, the music's quite loud. I forgot to turn it down. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, um, let me type in the code. Give me a second. Here we go. Okay. And the price giveaway has started, I believe. Yes, it has. All right. Head over to twitch.tv slash funkykit, give us a uh, follow, and then type in a command for a chance to win the uh, funky jacket. All right, prize giveaways. All right. <laughs> ah, here we go. That's good. Everyone's joined in. Thank you. Okay. That's great. That's great. All right, guys. So while that's happening, um, let's let's go through some of the stuff we've been uh, talking about. Of course, um, earlier on we did the uh, news and updates on our website, Funky, as well as MD3D. We did the uh, boxing of the Azrock B650 Steel Legend Wi-Fi motherboard. Of course, also we covered the Rig Builder, our system configurator, developed by Brother Yao. Fantastic tool for you guys to get some prices of Amazon. And of course, we did Mods of the Week, taken from our Extreme PC modding group where we have over 94,000 members. A great place to get some modding ideas. Or if you have any mods or any system builds and completed, just post them for everyone to share and uh, take a look. And then um, and we'd also talked about the Gigab Gigabyte collaboration. Um, so thank you Gigabyte for the opportunity uh, going forward it's going to be great with lots of Gigabyte reviews and of course videos videos video shorts reels and stuff like that and prize giveaways Gigabyte uh, prize giveaways project builds uh, it's going to be fantastic so thank you uh, all uh, for supporting us and also thank you for Gigabyte for the opportunity and um, uh, we just talked about also the uh, first PC project build of this year 2024 and it will be a gigabyte themed PC build. We're looking to um, look into, of course, all the build stuff that we build will be reviewed on our website. So, for example, if Gigabyte decides to give us an all Aorus kind of theme build, then all the products that which haven't which we haven't reviewed will be reviewed and posted on our site as well. So, what you're seeing built will be also the the products that we review. So that kind of doubles. Kind of call it like killing two birds with one stone, right? So they give us the products, we review it. Once we reviewed it, we'll be using that for the build. All right, so that's great. And of course, we have some prize giveaway announcements right now on our website. Go ahead and check it out. We're giving away um, the Gigabyte, sorry, the ASRock uh, B650M Steel Legend. Uh, sorry, PG Reptile, sorry, PG Reptile, yes. Sorry, the uh, the ASRock uh, B650 M PG Reptile motherboard and also the ASRock Z790 PG Lightning board, both available right now on our website. Head over there and uh, make sure you enter the prize giveaway. Closing date for the uh, uh, ASRock Z790 PG uh, uh, PG Rep Lightning will be on the first of March, and for the new one, the uh, ASRock B650 M PG Reptile will be on the 22nd of March. So plenty of time for you guys to uh, go ahead and check out. The price giveaways there all right 
Okay. Like the price giveaways. How we doing? How we doing? How many minutes? Oh, we got about a minute left. Alright. Oh, for you guys who have just joined, thank you. Uh, we have a new guy. Our, our D. Hey, I grandparents. I haven't seen you for a while. Culprit. Volutech. Draw29. Jarek. Hey, how's it going? Omega AXT. Pandap. Solo Dolo. Scumberg. Shweedy Balls. And we have a Farmy. Is it fa ja a Jarmy? Jarmy. Jarmy? Bazula. JD. Havase. Tel Aviv. Mr. Master Docs. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the show, the Funky Show Live. We're about to end. We've got a prize giveaway to give. So, hey, Mad My Mods. Thank you for subscribing. Okay. So, it looks like the prize giveaway. Uh, we have uh, 15 seconds left. Head <laughs> to Twitch, twitch.tv slash Funky Kit and uh, join the chat for a chance to win a Funky Kit jacket. Oh, if you want to see what it looks like, uh, let me bring up the page. The Funky Kit jacket looks like this. It looks pretty cool. We've got a new color as well, by the way. Uh, we've got this uh, camouflage color. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm really looking into this camouflage color. I quite like this. We've got them in a navy, um, graphite color. We've got this gold color, which looks more like orange. And we have the uh, standard black color there. But the camouflage one looks really cool. Um, it's a packable champion jacket. It is made by champion. And it's packable, which means you can fold it up. Um, waterproof or say water resistant uh very nice wind and rain is resistant here you go very nice okay looks like the price giveaway has entries have ended but i need i need to play a little jingle of course you can't get away from playing not playing the jingle so let's do it when it comes to live prize giveaways this guy is a beast winston chim and funky kid that's right okay so thank you for participating in the prize giveaway and today we're giving away a uh, funky jacket and uh, we're gonna count down to five and uh, we're gonna pick a winner all right ready there you go well uh, let's stream last pick the winner five four three two one and the winner of the funky jacket is gonna be sea of names Whew. Congrats. Congrats, congrats. Um, click on the uh, link and claim your prize. Yeah, congrats. See if names. Uh, it's a really nice jacket. Hope you enjoy it. All right. I picked the winner, but uh, for some reason, it's it's uh, it's not letting me close the uh, thing. Did you, did you get the link? Okay, sea of names. Just asking you, did you, uh, did you? All right, you got the link. Okay, good. All right. I get one matching one of my work, <laughs> one from <of my> co-workers. <laughs> Great. All right, thanks guys for joining the show. Uh, as always, it's a pleasure, and thank you for su uh, your support, and thank you for joining us uh, each and every week. Uh, same show, same time um, next week on a Friday. Uh, hopefully, we'll have some extra bits uh, to give away on a live show. And uh, of course, uh, it's fantastic news that we have uh, Gigabyte on board to collab. Uh, so watch out. Uh, upcoming, we're going to be doing a lot of Gigabyte reviews, uh, news. Uh, videos, shorts, uh, gigabyte prize giveaways, uh, project builds, uh, and live product introductions uh, on a live show. So it's going to be a fantastic uh, year. And uh, hopefully we're going to get another or a few more um, sponsors and collab. Um, we're waiting to see how, if anyone's interested. Uh, we got a couple lined up. Um, we're just waiting for them to say yes or no. And uh, once we have them on board, it's going to be fantastic. So thanks, guys. Uh, you make it. the It's amazing. And um, sneak peek. Sneak peek. We're not sure yet. We're just going to have to build up our kind of, um, how can I put it? 
build up our audience a little bit more uh and, and of course the viewers and numbers and stuff like that um we talked about the xpcm right okay so this is something a sneak peek i'm not gonna say if it's gonna happen or not uh if it does uh it won't be it, it, it may not be this year but possibly next year but we're building it up right so we're building up that brand remember i told you about that brand the extreme pc modern group gonna be uh kind of using the brand name uh xpcm right so we're gonna use xpcm as a kind of brand so that we can then collab with one of our manufacturers or vendors to have a crossover right <laughs> a product which is like a joint venture kind of thing we don't know yet of course we need to build up the brand build up the numbers and and everything so who knows maybe next year we could see a xpcm kind of co-brand with another brand with a particular product i'm not sure what product but uh it's hopefully it will happen but uh, it it can't happen without you guys right so thank you guys for making this happen and thank you for making the um this whole thing including the extreme PC modern group the the uh, funky kit live show and all the sites and everything um it's you guys that make it happen so thank you and uh we'll see we'll see who knows we might have a xpc branded product in the works next year or the year after but uh well uh, fingers crossed that's what i'm hoping <laughs> so thank you guys for joining the show thank you again it's fantastic and uh, make sure you tune in for next week's show where we have uh, lots of uh, news reviews and updates including unboxing videos and of course prize giveaways and uh until next week stay safe have a great weekend and we'll see you same time on, on a friday next week see you soon take care bye bye